So in this video, I'm going to look in detail at all the, the processes I went through to learn the Colmac um, DH keyboard layout. So I uh, fired up keybr.com, which was what I used to learn the Workman layout, and also very happy to use it again for the Colmac layout. So it's a brilliant tool because it introduces the keys incrementally, drills you on them until you get good at them, and then gives you another key to, to add into the mix and, and so on. So it's a really, really great way of, of drilling it. So you're not doing complete words, you're doing sort of almost complete words. So it focuses on the common patterns, but doesn't necessarily give you full natural English words. But those patterns are the patterns that are used between multiple words. So I think it's a really good kind of uh, hybrid between drilling just bigrams or drilling whole words. So as with when I learnt the workman layout, I coincided with a holiday time, a bit of time off that I could use to really focus on learning the new layout so that that downtime didn't coincide with when I was working. And interestingly, learning Colmac did seem to happen a lot quicker than learning Workman. I don't know if there are fewer changes between Colmac and Workman than there were between Workman and QWERTY, uh, or if it's just because I've, I've sort of got used to learning something new in terms of keyboard layouts, but it definitely happened quicker this time around. So almost immediately you do start to feel the impact of these rolls because the keys you learn first are the ones on the home row anyway. So you start to, to drill those patterns and you can really see how these rolls are going to come in. And actually the same with Workman, those initial first few keys are very encouraging because, you know, compared to the QWERTY positions, you can really see how, how natural they all feel on the home row. So as I was learning this, uh, it sort of becomes apparent that when you make a mistake, it's as a result of moving your fingers more than they need to. And when you get a good run with with low errors, you really get this feeling that you've, you've barely moved your fingers. So that likelihood of reaching too far to get to a key, I'm not sure if that comes from using a staggered keyboard or if it's just something that came from using QWERTY. Um, but as you learn these new, more efficient keyboard layouts, you sort of have to learn that less is more, you know, a more efficient finger movement with uh, less of a stretch is probably where you're aiming for to get to that key. So as part of learning Colmac, I joined the Colmac Discord group and I was immediately scrolling through and seeing everybody sharing their, their typing speed tests and they all looked at these amazing screenshots. I was like, where are these screenshots coming from? Uh, it turns out there's a, a, a training tool called Monkey Type and this is obviously you know, the, the default go-to uh, training tool in the Colmac Discord group. So very pleased to have discovered that because it's an amazing website. Now, it uses real full words for typing uh, but gives you these amazing images that you can download and share. So um, it's actually a lovely typing thing to use with huge customization as well so that's definitely a great thing I'm very happy to recommend that one if you're learning a new keyboard layout as well so also in the Colmac discord server was this uh, resource called the big bag of tricks and in here is an amazing array of tools and tips and all sorts of things which is a, an amazing resource when you're learning the new layout and one of the things I found most useful from these resources was the importance of training bigrams specifically. So the common bigrams you need to drill so that they really get into your muscle memory. And, and they include a tool that helps you do that called Ngram, which again is a really good thing to be training as part of the mix of tools that you use here. And the other thing I discovered that I found really useful in here was the importance of using a whole word correction if you make a mistake. So don't just backspace a couple of keys to fix an error. Uh, if you made an error at the end of a word, delete the whole word and do it again because the, the muscle memory from drilling that whole word out, it, it really beefs up your, your speed for typing. You know, it's the collection of the pattern in your mind of the whole word that's important. The bigrams are a good backbone to that, but to do the whole word is even better. So if you do make a mistake in a word, uh, alt backspace, delete the whole word and type it again. So part of fast typing is the, the consecutive patterns through the word. So that's why it's really important to do that. So sometimes you find yourself making the same mistake on the same words over and again. And you're not quite sure why. And I think in this case, it's your fingers are not physically capable of moving as fast as your mind is capable of telling them where to go. So you sort of trip over your own fingers. Um, and I think this is where training that bigrams um, comes in because you, you may not have trained the bigram that you know is in the word uh, to do it as fast as you kind of want to do it when you're doing the whole word. So go back to the bigrams, drill them all again, um, spend some time on those and then come back to the word and you'll find your fingers can do it as fast as you want them to do it. So essentially we're kind of focusing on three areas of drilling these words. You've got the whole word training for which monkeytype.com is fantastic for. You've got the sort of partial word training, which is what keybr.com does. You know, drills the common patterns in sort of almost complete words. And then you've got the pure bigram training on something like ngram. So that all three of those approaches, if you spend some time with each, all work together and you end up with this really good broad beefing up of the muscle memory for the layout. 
So with Colmac, the position of S and R do seem to trip me up. Um, they feel like they're almost the wrong way around and uh, obviously you're using different fingers from QWERTY on those ones. So uh, that, that does seem a little bit awkward for me. I'm still sort of kind of getting to grips with that. It feels like that's tripping me up still quite a lot. And also Y and U, I'm not quite sure why those trip me up either, but, you know, I'm getting there. It is, it is happening. Um, interestingly, though, when I got, you know, up to speed with Workman, I found that it was the same finger bigram issue that was, was sort of feeling awkward and unpleasant with that. I'm not getting anything like that from Colmac, the things that are tripping me up with Colmac are just lack of practice. You know, it doesn't feel like there's any awkwardness that's coming in that's slowing me down on that. So I'm quite encouraged by that. So it's been a year since I've used a QWERTY keyboard now, and I can't really remember what it feels like to type on one of those. And obviously I've changed from staggered keyboard layouts to uh, ortholinear and then to columnar as well. And now I'm on this Gergoplex where the keys are really close together and ultra light. So the feel for typing for me now is so radically different than when I was typing on an old QWERTY keyboard with a stagger. Uh, it's quite hard to compare, but certainly in terms of describing what it's like to type with Colmac on a keyboard like this, a columnar keyboard, you know, it's that reduction in movement that's so noticeable. Noticeable. And then the pleasantness that comes from the rolls is definitely noticeable. Um, and you, you sort of get this feeling that when you, you do a good run with no mistakes, it was it sort of feels easy to have achieved that accuracy and efficiency. So it's very rewarding, um, you know, using a more efficient layout like this. Essentially, it all feels very fast and light. And obviously, that comes from the, the keyboard hardware that I'm using as well. But I think a lot of that feeling does come from the layout. So should you try an alternative to QWERTY? Well, it, you know, it's definitely not to be underestimated it's not easy it takes time you you can't work while you're learning this you need to coincide with the holiday and you need to really put the hours in to learn the new layout so that when you go back to work you can at least type an email uh, without looking at the keyboard because that's just going to slow you down again if you're learning like that so yeah don't underestimate it but the reward is there if you can commit to never using a qwerty keyboard again i don't think there's much point in going down this road if you're going to learn both layouts because i don't know it, to me that seems like a massive headache to learn two layouts learning one is hard enough keeping the other one in mind as well that would just be too much for me so I can do these things if I if I know that I'm really going to commit uh, you know 100% to using the new layout I can throw away all the other muscle memory for the old one uh, and just stick with the new one but if you can't do that you know if you're forced to work with other computers in your work then I don't think it's worth even thinking about something like this in fairness it's just going to cause problems but if you can bring your own keyboard and plug in and you know maybe there's an option there then it's definitely something to think about because you can really focus on this this ultra tuned way of working with computers that's just that you've that you've achieved with your own keyboard and layout so the satisfaction is high and the effort is low even from at the very early days of using this obviously the speed is slower to start with and it takes time to build back up but that satisfaction and reward is a really important part of using a computer it, you know you don't want anything to feel laborious when you're using a computer and I think typing on a QWERTY staggered keyboard can definitely feel pretty laborious sometimes and so I think it's really great to embrace that if you can if you can do it if you know if you're not forced to share other computers where you need to be able to be good with a QWERTY staggered layout so it's definitely a fun thing to think about doing, but the effort involved is not to be underestimated. It does take time.